Aloha, everyone. My name is Archie Kleppa, and I live in Lahaina. First of all, I'd like to thank our ohana, our family, from after the fire, Riva and Jennifer, for coming to visit us when we needed the help the most and letting us know that we're not in this alone. What I'd like to share with you is my thoughts on what a sail plan would be for the future of Lahaina. And I want to tell you the story. I can remember the feeling of my feet on the deck of the canoe, looking back at my ohana, my family, on the beach, the moment we're leaving for my first deep sea voyage, like it was yesterday. We're sailing off with an idea of our destination in mind, with the ambition and optimism of youth, under the steady watchful eye of our captain, our navigator, and our ancestors. Like you today, we're privileged to have undergone training by the best of the best. Like you, years of learning, years of preparation, and then it was time to go. And with joy, our crew set off towards the horizon. Since then, I've sailed many voyages, many thousands of miles and in between, but as a lifeguard and as a big wave surfer and as a waterman, I've learned the critical lesson time and time again, the lesson of how important it is to understand and respect the ocean that surrounds you, to know the rhythm of the swell in your gut, to trust in your crew like your life would depend on it, because in the chaos of the storm, your life would literally be in their hands and theirs in yours. We as a people have been voyaging for thousands of years. We understand voyaging and we understand storms. In Lahaina, in Hawaii, we have been sailing in a different kind of storm for the last 150 years. This has been the storm of westernization, industrialization, and colonialism. This is the storm that reached its heroic peak on August 8th in the overwhelming flames and destruction, leaving a sea of ash and grief in its wake. This canoe, our Lahaina, is broken. We need to mend her. The fire burn the land raw and expose the underlying wounds from this, from this 150 year storm for the world to see. The decades of rerouting Lahaina's life-giving waters to feed industry instead of Aina, our land, that less crisp grasses and arid lands literally tinder that fed the flames, the impossible cost of living that compressed thousands of families into homes that no longer exist. These issues have come to the surface, showing themselves in the urgency and the ash of Lahaina. In the wake of this storm, the people of Lahaina, we know how to sail through a storm. This is living proof. We are still here, resilient, we know how to sail through a storm and endure our future generations will survive. But we, what we must remember as a people is how to sail around a storm. We've been using the magnetic northwestern compass, but it's not the navigational principles for this place, for our people. We are ready to place ourselves back within the Hawaiian star compass a compass that is based around values of nature. As we will center ourselves within the star compass, based on the values of nature, these same values of the Hawaiian people need to be the starting point for Lahaina, for Hawaii. The future we envision becomes people to be, con people to be connected no matter what race, no matter where you come from, it's about falling in love and having respect for this place and being a true part of this community. It is important for all of us to have a voice. More important, 
It's more important than ever in creating the sale plan for the way forward. We have to make sure we hear from all of those who can help change this place for the better. We have one chance. We have one chance to get this right. If we rebuild Lahaina only for Lahaina, we will fail. If we rebuild, we have to rebuild Lahaina for all of Hawaii, for all of mankind, so that Lahaina can be the example of how we need to move forward for Hawaii and for the world. The sale plan for Hawaii is in your hands. It's in all of our hands. And if we get this right, it will be the model, a beacon for the world. It's a tremendous, it's a tremendous kuleana, responsibility, and an urgent one. Remember this moment. Remember the feeling of the deck beneath your feet. As you depart on this voyage, draw strength from the lessons of your teachers and the wisdom of your ancestors and listen carefully to the captains and navigators in your life who will continue to help show you the way. The sail plan we design together will lead us far beyond the horizon of what we can imagine today and tomorrow. And I'm honored to be here and to tell you Mahalo and thank you. Aloha. So what our community wants. We want the water returned into public trust. To replant our forest so that it can create a healthy place for us to live. Rebuild a community around climate change to include shoreline retreat, safe power lines. We also want to minimize the short-term rentals in all of Hawaii. Businesses that are commercialized around Hawaii's resources have the kuleana, the responsibility to learn and teach the names of places and why those names are significant to those places. The importance of aupuas and how they sustain the community. These are things that need to happen for the future of Hawaii. Have a clear understanding of all of things Hawaiian. Be inclusive of our community, of all ethnicities. The kuleana and the mindset of Hawaii first. I want to introduce to you our mayor's advisory team. Kaliko Store, Larile Digama, Earl Kukahiko, Nestor Ugalug, and Kim Ball, and myself, Archie. I'm sorry that I cannot be there, but I want to say mahalo and thank you for giving me the opportunity to represent our community, my home, the place that I love, Lahaina. Thank you.